Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here gonna start work on my Blue Fern Studios um, design team project, but Christmas journal. So this is using the Mistletoe and Holly collection um, by Jen Bishop. So we are gonna get started. I've done a few preliminary things to um, get started, but I will walk you through, talk you through everything. Let's say hi and hugs first to the forever, the forever lovely Jacqueline, Sue, Amy, and Edie. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, so I wanted to work on the cover today. So what I have is some, um, is just cardboard from a cardboard box. It's not super thick. It's, it's a bit thinner and real sturdy. So um, I have cut the cardboard into two six by nine pieces. Six by nine, yep, two six by nine pieces. And then I've created a spine, which is about, well, it's about an inch and three quarters. Um, what I did was just use a piece that was extra after um after getting these cut so let's let's get started this one of course nine by an inch and three quarters so i am going to leave a little bit of a space here in between um in between the spine and each of the sides and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Tyvek, which is mailing envelopes are made out of. I save, anytime somebody sends me something in a Tyvek envelope, I save it for this very purpose because it's tough as all get out. So I am going to cut this. I'm actually going to cut two strips, one for the inside, one for the outside. And I'm not going to be picky about how straight the cut is or anything because, you know, we, we will be covering this. But we're about right there. And um, these little cutoffs, I will save them because I could use those on another spine like that, like that, whatever. I save all these like they're gold. <laughs> so, okay, I am gonna get that one on there and then we'll get the other one on there. Um, and I think what I will use is I think I will use, uh, I think I'm gonna use Fabri-Tac just because the Tyvek's a little bit different of a, of a texture and I, I just wanna make sure that it's not going anywhere. So. so we'll do that and then we'll cover and go from there. Um, you know, and hopefully we'll we'll get on to next steps. But I did want to do the did want to do the cover for sure first. Now um, the papers that I'm using to cover it, I have cut them to size. I have inked them and everything. I just did a few things off camera that you know you've seen me do a million times. You have you've definitely seen me ink things. <laughs> But I will go over, once again, dimensions and all of that. Okay, so I'm just going to gently lay that down and give it a press. I'm actually, I think, going to use this just to make sure 
it's all adhered completely. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to put one on the other side. Now see, that should be enough of a... I'm just going to do this while it's still wet just to make sure. So I would say that's a, like an eighth of a, a little more than an eighth of an inch. Maybe it's even two eighths of an inch. So let's get this one on there. And that can dry for a minute while we're talking about talking about the papers. But yeah, I'm excited to get going on this little project. <laughs> Keep thinking I'm done with Christmas, but I'm not. I'm not. Not yet, that is. Okay, so that one bit over the edge. I'm going to clip that off. I'm going to get my scissors all gluey, but I don't want that hanging over. Ugh. Goopy. Goopy, goopy. Okay. Okay, so now I'll give this a bit of a Okay, so there we go there. Now let's talk about, talk about these. So we have got the front, the inside front, inside back, and back. So of course these are nine by six as well. And I just looked through the papers and decided a design that I loved for the front. And I'm thinking that there may be something wonderful in the ephemera bits that I could put right there. So, we might as well get to getting on that, huh? Let's see. Um, so, I am planning to put lace on the um on the creases so i'm not worried about like if some of that white shows that's okay if you see what i mean looks like i only cut one of these probably because i'm thinking of um putting something on the inside to cover up the spine Okay, so let's get going here. I'm going to go ahead once again and use this because it shouldn't um, it shouldn't buckle the cover at all. It should just go smoothly on and really adhere well. So so there's that. Art glitter glue would be fine for this too. But since I have that out, I'm just gonna go with it. Okay, so I'm really trying to measure up the edge there. The other thing about art glitter glue, it doesn't give you a lot of time to reposition, whereas the um, fabric tack will. You've got, you've got a few minutes. Okay, so there's front cover. Let's do back cover, which is this. Okay. I've had this ready to go for a while, and it's just like, oh, I just haven't had much time for videos. I'm actually videoing this before Thanksgiving. The day before we leave for our Thanksgiving trip. So, yeah, it's, um, I've been doing a lot of filming ahead to get, to cover the whole time we're gone, which has been just good. 
gotten a lot done, I will say. So, so that is well and good on there. And you can kind of see that I have already distressed this. Okay, that's going to go there. That's going to go there. How about our middle piece? Which is going to go like like so and then there will be lace over that but I'm worried about that United States Post Office showing through um what would happen if I took a white pin to it yeah that's gonna work I just don't want it to show through the lace, you know? So that's gonna work just fine. Okay. Just blends that out a little. Okay, well that worked. That's happy. Okay. So then, I think I meant it to go this way. Okay, let's put that on. Now, if you didn't want your stitching of your um, of your signatures, you put this on last after you've already put in your signatures. But I don't know. I might do a piece of the lace that came from Blue Fern. I might do that down, down this too. I don't know. I don't know. But I am going to put lace across here. And it's going to go like that. So, should we do it while it's flat? I guess we might as well. I found this at an estate sale. Somebody had collected a lot of rolls of lace and so I helped myself <laughs> I don't know for you know whatever it was like this was 30 cents a yard when it was purchased but I probably got it for three dollars or something okay where are this going to go? Like so. And like that. Okay. Done with that, I think. Okay. So, I don't know, have you guys been watching The Voice this time? I just started. I'm watching it on demand because Mike doesn't care for it. So, I watch it before I go to sleep. <laughs> and I kind of, I mean, I'm kind of late to the party because I was kind of like, oh, I don't know if I want to watch this season or not. And I really enjoyed it. I I really didn't know Camila Cabello. I mean, I'm not up on current music as much. And so I didn't know her, but isn't I I mean if you're watching it, she's just delightful. What a cute sense of humor and she gives Blake a hard time and yeah, I've really enjoyed this season and then I didn't know what it was going to be like with Gwen and Blake since they're married now and everything but it's been it's been cute they're real cute so there we go there's the outside of our cover and we'll see we'll see how my stitching looks for one thing 
So that's going to bend just fine, but I'm going to leave it flat. And um, maybe we'll put a, a glue page down and turn this over a couple of them. So, so yeah, that's been, um, I, I've been watching that. And I, I love it because it really relaxes me. I don't know. It's just a funny thing. Okay. So this is going to go here. And this is going to go back here. And then I'll show you what I was thinking. I don't know. I was thinking about... I was thinking about putting a doily or something in there, but I just don't know. I don't know. We'll we'll look at what we've got here while this dries or something. And then I've just got to put together, I think I'm just going to do two signatures in this because you know how I am. I know I will end up um heavily decorating so no three i was going to put in three that's what i figured out and part of that was based on because i'm using the journal kit the pages that are like a digital kind of from this collection of mistletoe and holly okay that's good i like that okay and we'll do this one i mean seriously picking the sides is the hardest part because they're both so beautiful it's kind of like what are you gonna do Yeah, we're leaving tomorrow for Thanksgiving, so after I make this video, I'm going to go up and redo my nails <laughs> because the Fabri-Tac will, will take off whatever, whatever little polish I have left on them. I actually just polished them because they're so weak after having those fake nails that they're just, they were just breaking and breaking, and I was like, oh, please don't break into the quick. So I just put on fingernail polish. And I usually use more fingernail polish this time of year. I don't know why. In the Well, I do know why. It's because of gardening. It's like you fix your nails and then you go weed the garden and you look like you've got all the dirt underneath. So that's why I don't. Okay, while that is drying for a minute, we are going to just... Get those off of there I'm gonna lay that there and I'll show you what I was thinking Ugh. you guys I have lots of doilies actually I was thinking about tomorrow doing forgotten friends Friday with it but what I was thinking was of putting a doily on the inside of the of this kind of like kind of like that only bigger okay I don't like it I'm gonna put some coffee dyed paper down the center okay I guess I just had to see it too okay so let's look for And what I have that would be wide enough too. That's close to wide enough. But do I have anything wider? Because that's, that's just real close. Of course, I could put some lace on it too. Maybe that's what I'll do. Okay. <laughs> All 
Alrighty, whoopsie. Lost all the cute little buttons off of there. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna lay that down there and then we're gonna put lace down the sides. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. <clears throat> Gosh, I absolutely love this paper. So really just a uh, bit down here. Oh, you know what I think I might do though? Hang on. This is kind of a fun thing to do. Let's see, where's my, there it is. Going to grab some cheesecloth and I'm going to put some cheesecloth hanging out the bottom and the top. I mean, you don't need much, but yeah, I'm just going to fold that. Okay, and that's going to kind of go like that. And then out the top, grab another bit. Just a little coffee dyed cheesecloth. And maybe like that. I just think it's, it's fun looks cool. So let's do that. That's going to be kind of thick right there. So I'm going to cut that off. Just a little poking out there. Okay. And then here. Cut off this little bit because it's bunchy too. Okay, now we're going to put on the coffee dyed here. Getting over the cheesecloth really good. But it adheres there nicely. So this is going to be thick to sew through, but it'll just take a little bit of a little bit of work to poke through and so through this. Okay. Okay. Fold it under a bit. There we go. Okay, but then I'm going to put I'm going to put lace there too, just to finish off that edge. See, won't that look nice? So I think I'll put this video in my journal cover series playlist as well as my blue fern. Just so if you need to refer back ever, it's easy to find might not remember that I made it for blue fern but you'll remember it's a it's a cover so it's gonna go right there see how that does
Yeah, that's gonna finish it off nicely. Okay, so down this away. Straight cutting or straight gluing? Neither one are, <laughs> are very straight when it's when it's my handiwork. There we go. Okay. Cool. Okay, our um our cover is done. Unless we decide as we're going along to put pockets in or something like that. So I'm gonna lay this aside to dry. And we will look at the time, which we're doing great. Okay, so the other thing I did off camera was I took the pieces from, um, from the journal kit, which is journal pack, journal pack. There's 12 journal sheets. So I back-to-backed -back them and sewed around them because I wanted decoration on both sides. So I did that. I also cut out the three envelopes and I'm gonna put them in the middle of the signatures. So that's my plan there. Okay, I gotta pull up the sleeves. Should have done that probably when I was worth working with Fabri-Tac. Okay, so this is gonna be my first, my first page. Look at how gorgeous. Okay, so we're going to just work on our signatures now. So really, then what we're going to have left is decorating, which is always fun. Okay, so that's the cover of the first signature. This is going to be the cover of the second signature. Did I want it this way? I think I did. Yeah, I wanted it this way. Yes. Okay. I just had it laying there wrong. Okay. These are a little thick, but if you use a bone folder, you'll be fine. So there's that one. And then this is number three. And I left the strings on this. I'd like it to be a little bit of a juxtaposition um, between pretty and feminine and a little bit of grungy. That's that's my vision anyway. Oh my goodness, I have a little fabric jack on my fingers. Okay, so this is going to be the middle of one of the signatures and it's going to go this way. I'm thinking maybe the last signature because this is our this is our front of our of our journal so we want some space between it and the cover. So like this is going to go in the middle of this signature. And then which of the envelopes do we think we want in this one? I think I'd like whatever's kind of I was going to say whatever's busiest. I don't know. I think I'll use this one. And so what I'm going to do there is fold the envelope as it's supposed to be folded. But we're not going to glue it until after we've sewn everything in. So this is going to be actually... there. You can line up the <laughs> line up the seal and it. it's pretty good. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be in the middle like this and we'll just sew and our ribbon or our our threads will be in the middle of the signature. So that's the third one. This one, 
I kind of tried to do somewhat um, uh, plainer, like like this plainer middles because of doing the envelopes in the middle. But you know, I just kind of wanted to use the whole kit. Those two are not going to be together. There'll be a lot of pages in between. Um, so which one of these do we want here? I think I'm going to go with this one here. Okay. And, and then we'll put like a piece of coffee dyed coffee dyed paper or something in these or a journal card or something so I actually like that better this way yeah okay something different okay and then this one we'll have this in the middle And this is this pretty picture of the little girls ice skating. I love that. Okay. And this one is going to go in the middle of this one. So now it's just a matter of deciding what else do we want in this. as far as pieces in the in the journal goes. So that's gonna go there. I think that's really pretty. Okay, so here's our signatures so far. That's thick, that's thick, but our cover is big, we'll be okay. Okay, I'm gonna grab my um, papers. and see what all we might like in here. Okay, so I'm on a mission to use up my stationery, so I'm gonna use three sheets of that. Uh, unless, let's see here. Unless I'd like to mix it up. This one would actually go really well. I think I'll use that one and that one. And we'll save those. Okay. And then I think the red this red from Inked Paper Arts would be really nice. There's not as much green, like bright green. So I'm not sure about using green in there. We might, we might not. But let's use three pages of this. Three different designs. Oh, that'll be beautiful. Inked paper art on Etsy. Okay, and then I would like to use from Triple V Vintage. I would like to definitely use this one. What else do we have? The snowflakes could be okay. And I don't want the sweater one, really. Um, <laughs> oh. That's the same one, isn't it? Okay, I have more of that. So I think I might do you know, this in the first, this in the second, this in the third. So that's triple V.
Oh, wait a second. What about this? Yes. Okay, we're going to have something different in each one. Sorry, lots of paper shuffling going on here. That one. Yep. Okay, so now the other thing I have is Paper Baker Creations. Um, I've got some fun papers here, too. Maybe one of those. Ooh, that one would be great. And there's that. Oh, here's a nice poinsettia one, too. Okay, so we're going to use those three in there, too. Okay. So, there's, there's two pages here, but I'm almost going to count them as four because of the thickness. So four, five, six, seven, eight. I was thinking about 10 pages. So what do we have for, mm -hmm. let's get some music in here. Home for the holidays, welcome Christmas, blue Christmas. Okay, let's use those. Let's get those all folded up and ready to go and see how thick we are. We doing okay time-wise? Yes, okay. This is gonna need to be cut down because, I mean, it's okay that way, but it's definitely, needs a half inch taken off. Hmm. I hate to lose this, but I think I'm going to. It's kind of ripped anyway. Okay. Talked myself into it. So we are going to take about a half an inch off of these. And that's... I'm gonna keep those. They could add texture to something. I'm gonna throw them in my strip box for now. Okay. I'm gonna look and see. I don't wanna take off the bottom where it says 1948, 1966, 1954. But I don't wanna take off the top. We'll put these at the front of the signature that way they won't be starting to, you know, move out like like pages do. Okay. And um I am planning on putting um lace on the sides so if they do stick out, no biggie. So this poinsettia one, love this. This one is great for this. I feel like it goes with the digital as well. And then Merry Christmas. Poinsettias. And I think this will give plenty of room for journaling and plenty of room for decorating. So I'll try to remember to put the links for these papers in two, as well as, of course, the blue fern links. I 
think I have to update the links on Blue Fern because I think Mixed Media Minnesota is out of the kits. She had this paper collection as her December journal kit. So that was cool. Okay. So now, how do we want these to go in? I like that well enough. How's it do with this one? Now. That's not bad. And that's good. Okay. Slippery paper. I got slippery paper happening. Okay. So then I want to split up the coffee dyed paper. So we'll put this in here. been a while since I've done a multiple signature journal so this is this is fun it's kind of cute with that hmm. <sighs> it's uh, the trouble is is these beautiful designs they go with everything, you know? They just look so good with everything. But the red, I'm loving. So what are we going to do? We're going to put this. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put the music. And then we're going to put this one. And we're going to put those here. Yeah, that music's going to stick out like I thought it would. So that's kind of a bummer, but we'll see. We'll see how it is with the... Yeah, this is going to be fat. It's going to be a fat journal. We'll just put some sort of a closure on it that'll keep it shut. How's that? <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, so there's our signatures. Wouldn't mind adding something. See, I think I'll put lace on those music pages. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so are we dry over here yet? Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. I need a little more glue on the edge of this. That's fine. That needs a little more on the edge. I'm going to have to, you know what I'm going to do is use my art glitter glue just on the edge of that. Because this one I didn't get close enough apparently. To the edge. Get it, something to wipe that up. Messy business covers. That's all right. Everything else is looking good. Okay, so there's that. Okay, well, let's just see. 
how we oh yeah we're okay we have room to do a little decorating so that's good and the um, music isn't super far out so if I put lace on that that's what we're gonna do I wonder about that now the other thing we have if you will allow me a moment to grab it. It seems to have been buried. Okay. Well, we've got this, but I'm going to keep that for another journal, I think. Where the, there they are. So we have these pretty decorative corners, and I was thinking of doing those on here, too. going to cover up the dolly, but that's okay. I don't think that's too bad. Yeah, I think we'll put those on just because, again, it's a design team project. Ooh, I do like my little floof at the, at the ends. Okay. Um, let's look. I was wondering if there'd be some sort of beautiful ephemera that we could put there. Something that... Okay, let me look at this. I see one piece that's a possibility in this one. I think it's this. Is it this? Oh, that's the one. Oh, I see it. I see it. I'm about to grab it here. It's just a bit, bit too big, too much. Okay. It's okay. We've got that. Hmm. I have to see what this one is. Oh, that's the little baker girl. Okay. So what about these? <clears throat> I mean, there's all sorts of gorgeousness in here. through. Oops, I dropped one. I can't find it, so find it afterward. Ooh, that's nice. Right there. Okay, that's the winner, winner chicken dinner so far. Too small. And the colors, too, I'm looking at because of what we've got going on there. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so far it's between those two. That's too small. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, so far it's between those three. <laughs> and I'm thinking I could use Nuvo Drops and Stickles and stuff to add dimension so okay so let's take one more look oh phew I thought I was past time but I'm not okay so there was that I do like that. I can't decide which way this goes. I think like that. I do like that. I 
think I like this one, and I think it's because this is darker. But what I'm wondering is, do we want like a Merry Christmas or a something across there? And there was some of those, some word type things in here. Or there's one word. And it's way at the bottom. Of course it is. Last one out. What do you think? I think I kind of like that. It needs something across there, and that's... That's the word I have at the moment. Let's see. What am, I, am I missing something? Like, ooh, like here's a thought. Okay, I want to look in the 8x8s for a second and look at... This one. See that postcard right there? Or there's ornaments. Oh, I think I like the postcard. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this. I'm going in. Brave girl using her papers. <laughs> Who would have ever thought that definition of brave for us is cutting into blue fern paper? Okay. And then right there. Okay, let's see what we think. And we can try the ornaments too if we wanted to. I mean, that's kind of cool. I do like that. But I want to try the ornaments too, just to see. And whatever little bits of this are left, we'll just use them for... I don't know, ephemera and stuff. Okay, let's just go straight like that. Okay. And I'm going to do this side first. Because that's a good tag right there. That's an awesome tag. Okay. And then... And that's a great thing for a uh, top of a cluster. So, okay. So now we decide, do we like, do we like postcard or do we like ornaments? There's ornaments. Postcard. Oh, vey, I like them both. Okay, I like that. That's what we're going to go with. <sighs> okay, so I think we're just about there time-wise, aren't we? Yeah, we are. I'm going to do a little distressing on these. And um, since we decided together how it's going to be, I think I'll go ahead and maybe put these on. I don't know. 
I kind of would like to be able to put the Nouveau drops on them and let them sit. We'll see how far we get in the next five minutes. How's that? Okay. So. I was thinking. Okay. And then I was thinking of putting that to the top like that. Now, the other thing I need to think about is how does that look? looks just fine okay okay so I'm gonna put this one on first that's kind of going right in the middle of that little flower okay <laughs> oh goodness so hard sometimes isn't it yeah I am getting to the end of this Okay, put that right there, and then I'm going to put this on, and I will do the Art Nouveau drops just when it's already stuck down. Have I said lately how much I love playing with Jen Bishop's kits? I seriously love it. Okay, and then this. Had a little bit of white on the bottom there. Mm, maybe we put some Art Nouveau drops on. Let's put it right side up, how about? On the ornaments. Okay. Oh, I'm happy, guys. This is coming out. This is coming out. Maybe we put the Art Nouveau on the ornaments. Yes. Okay. Okay. I am going to stick a little glue under that. I think we'll Art Nouveau the ornaments. This is bugging me. So we're going to use the fine tip and go under there. And then, where's my... Okay. And, and then I may put the corners on, off camera, um, just because it'll, you know, you know, you know what to, what to do. You just glue them on. So, but let's put this on the ornaments. And then... I am doing this start to finish, so um, next time we'll maybe get the, okay, we got that. Next time what we'll do is maybe get the signature sewn in, some lace on the pages, think about how we want to decorate this. So. There is the beginnings of this mistletoe and holly journal. 
I, I'm excited. This is going to be fun. And it's, you know, a little bit different than the other ones that I did this year. So that's always good too. Well, thanks for watching everybody. Thanks for being here. I so appreciate all of you. So have a grateful day and we will just see you in the next video. Bye.